In this tutorial, I will show how you can easily import stock index data from Google Finance to Google Spreadsheet using the built-in Google Finance functions. So let's get started. To get data from a stock index, we'll use the Google Finance function in Google Spreadsheet. So we'll first do this to get the price and the days change, the days change in percentage, the previous close to 52 week low and high, and then we'll make a graph over the last 365 days performance. And finally, I will show you how to get the year to date performance of a stock index. So let's take the S&P 500 as an example. So in order to get the price, we need a ticker for the index. And if we go to Google Finance, we can see we have the S&P 500 here. And up here, we have the ticker symbol. Let's copy that. To get the current price of the index, we'll use the Google Finance function. And then we'll make a quotation mark, copy in the index, and make a quotation mark again, and a comma. And then in quotation marks, we write price to get the current price of the index and hit enter. The spreadsheet will then load in the current price of the S&P 500. So let's do the same for days change. We'll write Google Finance. And again, we'll copy in the ticker in the quotation marks, comma, and then we'll write change in quotation marks to get the days change. And we can see that S&P 500 are down $40 today. So let's get the days change in percentage. We we'll write Google Finance. And again, in quotation marks, copy in the index, comma, quotation mark, change PCT for percentage and quotation mark. And then we just need to hit enter. And as you can see, we are down 1% today. So let's get the previous close price. And to get this, we will again write Google Finance, quotation mark, copy in the index, and a quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, close, Y-E-S-T, quotation mark, and enter. And that will give us the previous close price. To get the 52-week low, we will again use Google Finance, quotation mark, copy in the index, quotation mark, and a comma, and a quotation mark, and then we'll write low 52 to get the 52 weeks lowest price. And we can do the same to get the 52 weeks highest price. So we'll write Google Finance, and again, quotation mark, copy in the index, quotation mark, and a comma, and then we'll write quotation mark, high 52, quotation mark, and hit enter. And that will load in the highest price of the S&P 500 from the last 52 weeks. To get a graph of the index performance the last 365 days, we'll use the Sparkline function. And then we'll write Google Finance. And again, we'll copy in the index in quotation marks, comma, and then we'll write price to call in the price of the index. And then write a comma, and today, and minus 365 to get 365 days, and a comma, and today, and then a couple of parentheses. And that will tell the spreadsheet to create a graph of the index performance the last year. To get the year to date performance, we need to find the price of the index today. And then we need to find the price of the index the 1st of January 2022 and subtract the two. And then we'll divide by the price the index had in the beginning of the year. To do that, we will start by making two brackets and then we'll write Google Finance. And again, we'll make quotation marks and call in our index and a comma, and then we'll write price to get the index price in quotation marks and then end with a bracket. To subtract the price of the beginning of the year, we'll write a minus, and then we'll write index and Google Finance. And then we'll have our index in quotation marks and a comma, and then we'll write price. And then we'll write a comma and a quotation mark and the 1st of January 2022. And again, quotation mark and a bracket, and then a comma and two, comma, two, and then four brackets to end this. And then we'll just divide by the price of the beginning of the year. So we'll write bracket and index, and again, Google Finance, call in our index in quotation marks and a comma, and quotation mark price, comma, quotation mark the 1st of January. 2022 quotation mark and again a closed bracket and comma and two comma two and then two brackets to close this to end this part of the code and then we just need to change that into percentages 
and here you go. You can see that the S&P 500 is currently down almost 20% year to date. So let's try to do the same with the Dow Jones index. And instead of writing all the lines of code, we will just copy paste what we already have done. And then we just need to find a ticker symbol for Dow Jones. So to do that, we'll go back to Google Finance. And then we'll just search for the Dow Jones index. And here it is. And then we just need to copy the ticker symbol and go back to our spreadsheet, where we can then paste it in in all the lines of code to replace the ticker symbol for S&P 500. So let's just do that for all the codes. And I will just fast forward a bit to I've changed all the lines of code. And now that that is complete, let's try one more. Let's take NASDAQ. So again, we'll just copy paste all the lines of codes. And then we'll go to Google Finance. And then we'll just search for NASDAQ. And here it is, NASDAQ Composite. And we'll just take the ticker symbol. And again, we'll just copy paste it in to replace Dow Jones ticker symbol in all the equations. And again, let's just fast forward to have changed all of them. This is actually also possible for other stock indexes, such as the one in Europe and also in emerging markets. So let's try to add several of these. So here I've added five European stock indexes and five from emerging markets, such as India, with the Nifty 50 index. And I've then changed all the lines of codes with ticker symbols from these new indexes. And I will then just add a final column with countries, so you can see to which country each index belongs. And finally, I'll just make this a bit more shiny. And as a small add-on, I've added the VIX index here in the bottom, so you can easily follow the volatility of the stock market in using this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is available on my Patreon page together with other tools for stock analysis and portfolio tracking. And you can find the link to this page in the description below.